Hello. This week we will be working on carbonate rocks. We will be looking at samples that correspond to either scanned thin sections or hand specimen. You actually have two hand specimens that you picked up from us at the start of the semester that you need to describe for this assignment. So I'm gonna start with those hand specimen. There is a notification in Blackboard dated to January the 15th, I believe, where you have a pictures to identify those samples. I think they should be A and B. So we are asking you to look at them, sketch them. So you will need to draw them on a piece of paper, take a picture of that uh, drawing and insert it in place of that frame here, this placeholder. Don't forget to put a scale on your sketch. And then we are asking you to derive Dunham's name for that for those two samples. And I believe there are A and B. This is 12 points. And then you have a series of thin sections and you have a variety of activities to do with those thin sections, starting by identifying some specific uh, allocants, some specific grains. Uh, looking at specific um, components of the rock, such as the, the micrite, the, the matrix, or the cement, look at some specific minerals, such as dolomite, and eventually uh, give a name to some samples following the Folks and the Dunham's classification for carbonate rocks. Now, how do you work with those thin sections? So there are two ways that you can work with those. If you are a PC user, you can use a freeware that is developed by Zeiss, uh, that is called Zeiss Zen, and I will show you how to do that in a minute. If you are using either a Mac or a tablet, then you can use JPEG images of the uh, thin section, um, either PPL or XPL. So let's start with the Zeiss Zen uh, software. If you go into Blackboard, so this is the opening window of your Blackboard, Black, Blackboard sorry. In content, there is now a folder um, that I will probably move at the top that is called thin sections. You go in there and at the top, you have a link that is taking you to the Zeiss Zenlit website. If you, if you scroll down, you have different ways that you can um, use to download and install that software. It's a pretty, lar it's a pretty large piece of software, five gig. Um, so that's the first step to take. Then after this is installed, I'm switching into a workstation that I have in my lab here. Uh, you open um, the Zeiss Zen computer, uh, sorry, software, and this is what it's looking like. Um, sorry, the second thing that you will have to do still in Blackboard, um, I'm in the process of uploading um, a zip file into the same folder that will be called all thin section CZ, sorry, CZI files. It's a large archive. Um, as of now, it's 20 gigs. Um, and within this archive, there are some carbonate, but also um, siliciclastic thin sections. So there's roughly um, one half to two thirds of the thin sections that we will be using this semester. So you will have to, I'm, I'm summarizing here, install the Zeiss Zen software and then download this zip file and uh, unzip it on your local drive. Then you will be able to go and open the software. And you can open one of those um, so um, CZI files. So I'm going to take, for instance, uh, the TS12 that I think is one of the um, sample that is to be used for this Carnage Rock. Indeed, it is. So um, this is how. This is what you should see when you open one of those CZ, CZI file. Um, so it's, it's, 
an XPL view. Um, and um, my colleague at Kansas State University and his students scan the whole thin section at different angle under XPL, meaning that if I press on that uh, arrow here, okay, you can see that the crystals here of calcite are changing in terms of color. This is mimicking the fact that the plate of the microscope is rotating. See here, you do have the angle of rotation. Okay, so that's XPL plus rotation in a way. And you can also choose to look at a specific angle. So that's something that you want to be aware of. Now, um, if you want to, um, if you want to see only one channel, you need to disable the fading here. And then in here in the left-hand side, you unselect by clicking on them all the poles that are the different channels of XPL. So XPL different angle. And now I'm looking at the PPL. And in there, I can zoom in pretty, at pretty high magnification if I want. Uh, so I can now see, okay, I can now take the hand tool to navigate within the thin section and make some observations, look for allochems or uh, textural elements that you are asked to look for. And that's, for instance, um, is a piece of rodis. I can't help myself to give you some, some hints here. Uh, there is a lot of cement here and there and some mud, okay, this brown stuff. So this is fairly high resolution. Um, so this is what you can do if you are using the uh, Zeiss Zen uh, software. I believe under, uh, well, there should be a way to measure things out. Here we go. This is um, the scale bar, um, and maybe in there we may have access to, uh, look, as you can see, I'm, I'm not super familiar with that software here, but well, eventually I'm freezing the computer. So, um, so that's what we can do. Now, if you are a Mac user or if you are using a tablet, you will have to use some static JPEG of PPL and XPL view of all of those samples. All the files are already loaded into Blackboard, okay? Um, these are pretty large files. I think each is roughly uh, anywhere between 60 and 80 megabytes. I'm gonna confirm that in a minute. If I open a window, okay, so. Okay, we are here, we are looking at that. So these are the thin sections, the files that are in Blackboard. And if I take one here, this is 84. So in my computer, if I open one of those files, um, I should be able to uh, see that. Okay, and I should be able to uh, zoom in pretty uh, at pretty high magnification. So I will have the same resolution, that's why the files are pretty high. So the caveat with that is that you won't be able to make the measurements. There is no uh, scale bar here. We will take that into consideration um, when going through the grading. Just um, do your best and we will, um, we will take into consideration the fact that you may have been working on static JPEG images of the thin sections and not in the software. So this is actually the same uh, sample as before. Uh, so this is TS12, I believe. Uh, we can have a look at the XPL view of the same thin section. So this is not rotating anymore, uh, but we can have a, a pretty good idea of what kind of mineral is making uh, this mosaic here. This is uh, calcite, uh, if I pick another one here, let's see, uh, 15 maybe, what is that? Okay, that's another good one here. Uh, this is another type of, of carnet rock for this semester, for, for this week, sorry. Um, more allochems uh, with uh, maybe some gastropods here and some uh, shells. So um, that is for the brief introduction of on 
what material you you have available for you this uh, this week. Uh, I'm just forgetting a last point. Um, I think I can show you if I exit student preview mode here in Blackboard. Um, I believe I already uploaded that in Blackboard. All right, so. Mm. So um, it's not yet in, into Blackboard, but I think I can. Yeah, there will be, sorry, it's not yet there, but I'm, I'm planning to export a little video of all the hand specimens that corresponds to um, those thin sections and it will be placed in there as well. If you have any questions, please um, reach out to either Matt on Monday and Wednesday from two to 3 p.m. during his office hours in Blackboard or myself Tuesday, Thursday, two to 3.30 p.m. Uh, in, in, in Zoom, sorry, uh, as well. Uh, if you don't know how to access our office hours, click on contact your instructor here. And under my picture, there is, this is the link to my uh, Zoom office hours. This is the link to Matt's Zoom office hours. Um, we are here to help you. We just recommend you don't wait for the last minute to ask for our help. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm looking forward to working with you on that assignment this week.